Hey guys, it's Yinka and I'm back with another DIY video for today. So for today's video, I'm really excited because your girl finally got a new vanity for her guest bathroom. So this is my new vanity that I recently got from Wayfair for my guest bathroom. But long story short, I was actually replacing the vanity in my master bathroom. And after Wayfair sending me several that were broken and they let me keep the extra one, one of the ones that I kept was this one. It had a few cracks, which you can see here that I taped um, with clear tape until I was ready to fill in the cracks. And that is pretty much what today's video will be about. So this bathroom is going through some renovations. As you can see, my wall is still a little janky. I need to repaint. Um, my brother-in-law was here a few weeks ago and helped me move my lights up higher. Um, and then this is a temporary mirror. I have my new mirror that um, is framed that will go here. And you can see the compound that he helped me do and smooth out because I had spackle and it was like bumpy still. So yeah, the bathroom is under renovation, even down to my um, siding. We had to remove that so that he could put in the bath, the vanity. But yeah, so we're in progress. So I want to show you guys today how I'm going to fill in the cracks of this vanity using this kit that I got from Amazon. This is the Stosin Multicolor Surface Repair Kit. It's about $50 on Amazon. And one thing I was looking for when I was looking to fix the cracks in my vanity is I wanted something that could cure. Like, you know, when you go to the dentist, they're doing a fill-in and they put that light and then it like solidifies your fill-in. So I wanted something like that because a lot of the kits that I saw were like, you know, you mix it, you let it dry for a few days and then it hardens. I wanted something that can dry fast and just um, begin immediate use right away. So today we have this crack here, this crack, which is a bit deep here. Um, we have another crack here. And another crack here. Um, so the first vanity wafer sent me, the sink was cracked and they told me to keep it. The second one they sent me was this one. And as you can see, it had cracks in the countertop, which I was like, no, I'm not having it. The third one they sent me was finally pristine and fine. So that one is in my master bathroom. Um, I, they took back the first one that had the cracked sink. And I just kept this one and decided last minute to install it here. And alongside filling the cracks today, I will also be um, going through with some caulk to just re-caulk and retouch up um, the edges of the countertop because my walls are like very uneven. So this is like particularly thick for caulk. So we're just gonna go over now that this has dried a little bit. So once I'm done repairing the countertop, then I'm gonna do a fresh coat of paint and then mount the new mirror, mount the, um, what is it called? I got a storage unit for above the toilet and yeah, everything is gonna be fun. So let's get down to business. So we're using this kit today, the Stosin Multicolor Resurfacing Kit, and I'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys. All right, so when you get your kit, um, it will come with a syringe with black, red, blue, green, yellow, and white, and then it will come with six micro tips, a blue light unit. So this is the blue light unit. And it will oops, and it will also come with sandpaper, a polishing wheel, leveling tape, a stick, and the unit's manual. So, as you guys saw, I already brought out the blue light. I have the scissors here because I need to peel off the clear tape that I have. But here is our directions. Here are the syringe tips. 
Here's that little blue light dental thing, sandpaper. And then this is what we're gonna use to mix the color that we need. So I'm thinking of making like gray, like a grayish marble. I'm gonna go for like a marble effect. I'm gonna tap into my inner artiste to create the perfect color um, that I think will blend really easy. Um, so we'll see. Um, so first I'm gonna remove this tape and I'll be back. So the tape really did protect um, the cracks in the meantime. And as you can see, this part here actually comes off. So I think once we're able to cure everything, we'll be in a really good position. So I have everything laid out on the vanity because I like to see everything and that helps me follow the directions really easy. What I'm actually gonna do first is I have this piece that um, fell off. I'm going to use my liquid nails to glue that back. And then I'm going to use the syringes to mix my desired color. I'm gonna do a mixture of like a whitish gray, a plain white to like match this and like a darker gray, and then um, just apply it into the cracks. Then you cure. So for the first thing I wanna do is actually glue back a piece of vanity that came off. And it's a quite large chunk, as you guys can see here. And I'm using this cement glue to put it back in place. That way, as I'm pouring in my liquid mixture, everything can cement and glue in very nicely. All right, so I have glued this piece down and now I'm going to mix. So these are the colored syringes that come with your kit. And you have your primary colors, white, blue, red, green, black, and yellow. So I am going to mix black and white. So let's see what this white, white ceramic is looking like. Okay. And it has an easy screw back top. Then I'm just gonna put a little black over here. And just for the drama, it's gonna have a little yellow like arts and crafts boom so now I'm gonna get a toothpick I'll be right back so I'm using these plastic toothpicks that I have and I'm going to make my first mixture so I'm just gonna cut this over here kind of spread it out I'm gonna take a little black want to put too much because I'm not sure okay see like I like how this is so I'm actually not gonna mix it out all the way let me give it a close-up so I'm not gonna mix it all the way so that I can maintain like this marble effect yeah 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 I'm liking it and I'm just gonna add a little dab of yellow into this why? Okay, I hope I didn't mess it up. Probably shouldn't have done that, but let me add more white. Where's the white? So I'm actually gonna add some of that mixture to this white. Because I probably shouldn't have added just a little bit of it. Probably shouldn't have added yellow. So don't add yellow, y'all. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the black. And then boom. So this is like the little marble thing we got going. Boom. So we're gonna start with this crack here. 
Let me zoom in. We're gonna start with this crack right there. So the directions literally say fill in the area that you want which is what I'm doing. And I'm actually gonna add some more white. So I do wish they gave two whites because I feel like more people would utilize white in this type of project. I am gonna take some more of this and add it here. So it's almost like a toothpaste consistency. And now I'm going to use the pointed edge and just press it in lightly. And I still want to get that marble effect. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do once okay it's coming together it's coming together this does require skill um definitely requires skill i'm gonna add a little more white here Just gonna swirl it. So you want to make sure you don't have any gaps. You want to make sure you don't have any gaps. Then I'm also going to add to the cracks here. And bring it down. And then these little hairline cracks. So I'm just pressing it into the hairline cracks. So those are the cracks that are really skinny. I want to make sure that I have enough product. So now I'm going to kind of like swirl. So now that it's leveled there, I'm going to take the black and just kind of swirl it around and kind of add that 
marble effect. All right, so that's pretty much filled in nicely. Um, so now your kit comes with leveling strips. So your kit comes with leveling strips. And this is what I'm going to place on top of the crack and then we cure. So that is what the fill-in looks like. So just gonna make sure So now that it's assembled, we're gonna go in and cure. And I followed the directions and cured each section. I kind of divided it into like three sections since the light is quite concentrated. And it was really easy, really simple. And it's crazy because it did make me feel like I was in a dentist's office. So it was really cool to get to this part. And I think I enjoyed this part the most. And now actually looking back at my video footage, I kind of wish that I just kept it white. Um, I know in the moment I was trying to be creative, try to create a granite effect, but I actually think if I kept it white, but like a clearish white, it would have been a little more seamless. And of course, don't mix yellow in there. I don't know what I was thinking, color theory, whatever. But um, yeah, so as you guys can see in sections, I'm curing it and it's really simple and really easy to do.
across. So now we're going to move on to the next crack, which you can see here. And I'm going to fill it in and use the leveling tape to kind of build the structure. This is really adult arts and craft, and it's like so much fun. I'm really enjoying this, and it's really easy to use. Um, I didn't decide to pre-mix too much here because I wanted it to blend in, but as you can see, I'm just gently going in and allowing the product to fill in the gaps really smooth and really easy. So here is the final product. It blended in quite nicely. And I am gonna take my sanding block to sand it down to get rid of the shine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.